So our last video we looked at the statistics. So this video we're going to look at field calculator, which is our number two video on this session. So let's head right to ArcMap where we can get that done. So we're still going to use the uh, administrative boundaries of the local government to rubber state. So you right click and you open attribute table. Now what we want to do here is that we want to look at field geometry. Now basically field calculator, not field geometry, sorry. So field calculator, we're going to calculate some certain things. All right. So first and foremost, you have to uh, create a new field. We've done that in our previous video, but we have to do that again. So you click on this table option up here, and then you come to add field. So the field will be, let's say, let's say distance. So distance field. And then we're going to use float. Now this float, when we come to that, I will explain more on this. So let's click on OK. That's just what I want to do now. So your editor must not be on. But on, unlike when you want to edit attribute that we did, we have to turn on our editor. But this, you don't need your editor on. So you click here. You just press left click so that it can have this selected. And then you right click and you go to field calculator. Now on field calculator, we want to have a distance. Uh, let's say um, the distance from one local government to the other is or let's basically give it like you know i'm trying to if this was a road layer i would have been a better example but let me just start that example here what i wanted to do was um i want to let's say we have a road layers and we want to know the distance you know that distance like per one kilometer how is it traveled on the way on the expressway on highway and the rest that's what i i actually committed that that's why i bring in this so let's just use it so we have distance and where the distance we want to use an average distance of 40,000 meters, which is 40, uh, 40,000 yeah, meters. So, um, so we have 80,000, depending on the type and the classification of the rule. So once you just put distance is close to 40,000, all of it is going to be calculated and be added to um so this so you see that instead of us typing it one one in the form of editing we can add it directly now secondly if we want to see a log of um a log a turn a sign or anything so let's create another field calculator or let's still use this like right click go to field calculator and we want to say a log of the population and then it's okay it's going to calculate the log of that population this is the logarithm of the population so let's go back to field calculator and look at another example and uh, let's say we want to calculate uh, the turn sorry we'll clear first the turn of this population it's going to load and calculate. So you can use field calculator to do quite a lot, depending on the tax and the formula and what you understand. You can calculate uh, the time taken for a travel, actually. If we have a distance of 40,000, we have the length, that is the length of the road. We can actually go to calculate because distance times time can give you uh, distance time, uh, the length and the distance here yeah, can give you the time which you can actually travel speed over time and then divide by the time yeah, that so it, you can actually get once you have the formula you can use field calculator to make 
calculation. Some of these things to explain them sometimes, uh, it looks so hard, but anyway, when we serve more examples, you will get to understand if you flow this course to when we're doing network analysis, you have a better understanding of some of the things and how field calculator is effective and useful. And that way you can use field calculator in virtually a lot of things. So depending on you knowing it. So once you know it, this is your field, this is your functions. And then we have type number strings and dates. So all these are part of the function. As you switch from this, you see them. And then we have this uh, down here, the signs, multiplication, division, and plus, minus, equal to. So all of this you can also load. And then you, you have the Python script you can write and all that. So basically, this is how field calculator is being maximized. So basically, you just need to know how it's been used and all that. So if you cannot use Python, you have your VB script. And that's what we just use. So stay tuned for uh, the next video.